I never get enough of these banded basalts. I'm not sure why, but I love them. Look at that hard, hard layer in there. The only reason I say they're basalts, like this could just as easily be a sandstone, but they often have swirls in them, and sandstone usually doesn't have swirls. Although this one, this is a mystery one, because it really looks like sandstone. Maybe sandstone with layers of a harder material, such as limestone perhaps? Yeah, because they're almost too straight to be basalt. I thought it was basalt when I picked it up. That's how it is when you go rock hunting. Every, every one is a challenge to figure out. Boy, that's a nice white granite there. It's not common to see them that white. I try to film this while the sun is out for you guys. This is that basalt with the rind on it. You can see how coarse and pitted that is. Yet look at the basalt. It has black phenocrysts in it. Nice big one shining there. So it's some kind of a highly mafic basalt, but one that also erodes easily by chemical processes. Brecciated sandstone, it looks like. It's broken on the top here. Cool pattern, though. There's a nice fault line here. You can see these layers continue again up here. And this is the first pudding stone I've come across. Here's the other half. Here's the other half of that rock we were just looking at. Look at that Z. Zorro! <laughs> I might be dating myself by saying that, I'm not sure. Spectacular piece of basalt. Wow.